What's up, everybody? I hope you're having an amazing day today. I am Peter Cole, and the PC Gaming Show Conference just finished. Uh, really quick about that, my stream cut out partway through if you were watching that. I'm sorry. Uh, one of these companies just killed my stream because they played a song that they copyrighted, and they just copyrighted and cut the stream off right away. So that was the end of that, unfortunately. I watched the rest of it, though. Honestly, I have to say, that was a really, really strong conference. They showed so many games. They just went game after game after game after game, and even when they'd bring out interviewers to talk, um, it would, they'd talk for a short period of time. However, a lot like the Ubisoft conference, there were so many cringy moments, including a time where you couldn't hear the guy's mic on stage and you could hear the people in the background, where's his mic? What happened to his mic? What's going on? Why is his mic not working? And they'd like get angry and like you could hear them in the background. It was just, it was weird. Some jokes went over badly and that was cringy too. But then there was amazing games there. There was so much shown and so much I was excited about. I'm going to go over my highlights because like I said, there was a ton. I don't want to go through everything they talked about but i'll go over my highlights tell you what i thought was cool and the things that i thought was interesting i'll also tell you my rating of the conference overall they started off with satisfactory which is a game about a person going from earth to an alien planet having to build up all these things there's like automated industrial creation uh it looks really awesome it's, it's a combination like i said when i was watching it of like minecraft and crafting and also like you do you automate things so you can make all kinds of materials and build out a bigger factory and it's satisfactory Factory. So it looks really cool. That was the first game they showed. I thought that was really interesting. They showed Mavericks Proving Ground, which is a 1,000 player battle royale game. It looks like basically PUBG, but they added a bunch of stuff into it. Like the environment shows what people did before and there's fires and there's snow and there's all different types of stuff. And it's reactive to the players and you kind of move in towards the center and it looks really awesome. I, I think that's a great idea for a battle royale game. But just taking PUBG and making it better. They showed a bunch of small or indie games some of them let which look really cool overwhelm is available right now i thought it was pretty cool they showed stuff from star citizen one of my highlights is sable this game's graphics and stuff look insane so i'd recommend looking that up sable looks incredible and there was a few other ones stormland and stuff where i, I thought they looked really cool but overall it's not about the single games as much as it was about the whole conference in general they showed so many different franchises so many different games all different types of developers all different types of genres so i honestly Honestly, I have to say, I think the PC gaming show was above Ubisoft and above Square Enix for me, which is weird because I love uh, Square Enix and Ubisoft a lot, but this conference was just better. Like I, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was better than any game, in my opinion, that they showed at the PC gaming show. But the PC Gaming Show was just so good. I honestly think PC Gaming Show is going a little bit under Bethesda for me, which is surprising at this point. But like I said, this is just going to be a shorter one because they showed a ton of games. I don't really want to go through all of them again because there were so many. Uh, I'd recommend, especially if you want to see some of the games that I was talking about or more, go watch that conference. It was a good conference to watch. Like I said, there's some awkward and cringy parts, but they showed so many games. And I was really impressed by that. It felt almost like Microsoft's, except a lot more cringy and the quality of it was lower. But anyway, I, I really enjoyed it. I think it's one of the better ones so far. Top three for me. And I'm assuming Sony's going to beat this one out for sure. But I guess we'll wait and see. I I'm really excited for the rest of the conferences because they showed so many games here. And it was really hype. So, yeah, I'd maybe give this one like a 775, which is higher than a lot of the other ones so far. So I guess we'll end up seeing where it ends up going. Anyway, guys, I'm super excited for the rest of the conference. I can't wait to see what the other ones have in store. And I hope you guys enjoyed the stream that was there. At least you can go watch the hour I got to watch of it. And the rest, of, well, I guess I'll wait to see for the rest of the shows. If you're just watching this video and you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to give the like button some love. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see all you guys in the next E3 video. Let's continue creating the greatest community in the world.